Good Sunday afternoon, everyone. It's Natalie. I hope y'all doing okay. Look, I just wanted to hop on real quick just to show you how disrespectful the weather is. Look, my yard is a lake. What really hurts my feelings is look what it did to my poor little flag. My happy little flag. Look at that. Disrespectful. There we go. Now, while I got you on here, I want to show you this oddity. Look at this thing. That's one of my cabbages. Actually, that is one of the cabbages that I actually originally planted back in October that I never harvested. It was very small in the beginning and it never grew. I, just look at it. It never grew to a full head and now it has turned into this oddity here. This is the weirdest looking plant. Look at that. Can you see it? It's like a little alien. I just wanted to hop on and show you that and also show you this disrespectful weather. The rest of my backyard is a, uh, a lake. Look, now this is where I actually did harvest two cabbages and there's actually uh, new growth. They're regrowing. And that one too. So I'm expecting maybe the other places where I harvested cabbages, they're going to uh, regrow. I don't know how well it's going to form because I, I think these cabbages are cold weather um, uh, they're brassicas so I think they do well in cold weather but not the hot Louisiana uh, weather that we're going to get pretty soon this is uh, collards where I actually harvested these collards and there's new growth look at that let me tell you a quick story why I got you on here look when I started, when I planted my celery, I put it in this raised bed. It was over in this little corner right here. It's the first thing I planted in this raised bed. But then I had three pepper plants, sweet peppers, and I didn't have room for them over here. So I planted it in this raised bed. Little did I know until I did a little research that I was looking up plants that are compatible that do well being planted near one another and peppers and uh, celery does not match well so I literally had to evict the celery plants <laughs> I because it's like okay I'd rather the, the bell peppers be in this raised bed or sweet peppers I, I'm used to calling them bell peppers so I moved the celery to their own little habitat so I put them over here. So there's my celery plants. Right over here, I planted corn. I think I see something coming up. What you say, look at that. This is where I planted my corn. I do see, oh look, oh it's amazing. And what I did is I soaked my corn. I soaked it in water before I planted them. And this is one variety. This is the sweet corn, silver and gold. Okay, inside I have another variety. It's soaking. And I'm gonna let it soak for a while because I saw where this gentleman, he soaked his corn to the point where it had a little root. I mean, it was pretty much ready. It almost turned into a little seedling you know, with uh, green and, and a, a large root in his little plastic container where he put a wet napkin and he covered it and he just set it in his window seal and that's what he got. So I'm like, I have this tub ready. I have this, I'm sorry, tote ready for the corn. Um, excuse me. 
Uh, so, and I'm not, I'm gonna move these toes. They're on grass right now because of the wet weather. I didn't have a chance to put some weed barrier down and actually just kind of extend uh, my little garden just a, a little bit. I'm gonna extend it just a little right here. Um, I know, look, my husband's probably like, her garden is getting larger and larger. She only said she was gonna take a little space, <laughs> but I just, I, 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 put, I would prefer to have it on some weed barrier right here. And it doesn't even have to have mulch around it. Um, but I'm gonna just extend it over just a little bit because I want room to walk around and tend to the plants. So anyway, here I have okra planted in these great little totes. You just don't know how much I love these little totes that I found at Lowe's. I included a picture of the label in one of my posts. I think it was a little short I did and uh, showing you what I was planting uh, and the actual label was on there. But you can find them at Lowe's. They're over in the section where all the storage containers are and they are tubs. They're flexible tubs. Okay. Um, I love them. They're wide enough that the diameter is, a, I think, about 20. I'm not sure. Um, and then there's 17 inches. It might be in height. I'm not sure. It, it, or it might be the other way around. It may be 20 in height and 17 in diameter. Don't know. But I love them. I love them. Here I have my okra. I have a uh, Crimson Spineless, and the other variety I have is Louisiana Green Velvet that I wanted to try. So that's what's in those totes. And of course, these three totes here has uh, my Better Bush so tomatoes. And here, my Celebrity Tomatoes. Look how nice and bushy they're getting. One thing I do have to do to my bell peppers, or my sweet peppers, I have to come and pinch the tip off. I didn't do that. You pinch off the tip, the tops of it, so it can uh, promote what they call offshoots. So I'll do that later, but. And that one over here, I'm gonna show you. That one's small, and that's an orange bell pepper. This is orange, and then these are the red ones. I think I have a few yellow, and these over here are green. So, but I have to pinch the tip off. The reason why you have to pinch the tip is because, like I said, it will promote offshoots. That one broke. So that's why it's so short. That one broke before I could get it in the ground. Um, so that's, that's why it's so small. I just wanted to point that out. Now, also, where I moved my celery, I have some cucumbers. They're called munchers. These uh, small, cute little cucumbers. So I just, that place where I took out and I scooped up the majority of the soil along with the uh, celery because I had amended that um, celery. I think I had uh, added something that celeries uh, do like. So I should have known better because the soil and all the different things that a celery plant requires is totally different from the bell pepper. So I should have known from that that they weren't compatible. Uh, and I, I think that's what made me think about it. It's like, wait a minute, let me see, see if I'm planting things together that shouldn't be. Um, so I looked, up, I looked it up and I found out that cucumbers actually do well with bell peppers, so that's fine. And so I just, when I moved the celery and replanted them, I changed the soil, added some more soil in that hole that was left after removing the celery added some more soil and then I planted a few more cucumber seeds over there but I am excited to see that my corn you may not be able to see it but I can see the little um, plants coming up I'm excited I wanted to, I always wanted to grow corn so this is this is good all right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. I didn't mean to make a long video, but I always do anyway. I just had to come out here and fix my little flag when I saw how disrespectful the wind was and the rain. Look at the lake. It's, it was worse than this earlier. There's my, um, my yard is not level. 
it kind of slopes to the back as you can see even the swimming pool is uh, is slightly sloped um so that's why the water when we have a really heavy rain that's why water got ga gathers in certain areas and that's why i did not choose to put my garden in this area this area over here gets lots of sun up oh, i'm stepping in water and also it stays dry so it's the most level area in the yard so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off now there will be no gardening today I might pinch off the top of those pepper plants or I might just leave them alone. They just had a nice, good soaking. Matter of fact, I did not water the plants. Now, I had to water the things that I actually planted. I watered them, but I didn't saturate with them with water because I knew that a heavy rain was coming. And yesterday was a perfect day to work in the garden, so I got as much done as I could. And like I said, the, the new plants I, that I had just put in the soil, I had to water them in, but I didn't drench it because I knew heavy rain was coming and they would get thoroughly watered uh, the next day. And they did, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And as always, in closing, no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what your situation is, always try to find joy in the journey.